angles m is equals to cos of beta and n is cos of gamma it is given that on x axis it is inclined with angle of 45 at y axis angle of 60 and at z axis we want to find that angle cos 45 has value 1 upon square root of 2 cos 60 1 by 2 <coughs> now we know that one identity l square plus m square plus n square is equals to 1 put this value 1 by square root of 2 square m is 1 by 2 square plus n square is equals to 1 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 take the lcm 2 plus 1 plus n square is equals to 1 3 by 4 plus n square is 1 1 minus 3 by 4, 4 minus 3, 1 by 4. So we get the value of n as plus minus 1 by 2. N is 1 by 2 or minus 1 by 2. 1 by 2 is value of cos 60 degree, and n is equals to cos gamma. So gamma is 60, and then cos of gamma is equals to minus cos of 60. Cos is negative. In which quadrant? all positive sin positive tan positive and cos positive now cos is negative in this quadrant 0 pi by 2 pi so pi minus me cos mere pass negative hai so cos pi minus 60 180 minus 60 that is cos 120 so gamma is 120 Or sixty. Now the next one. Question number two. If a vector makes angle alpha, beta, gamma with O x, O y, and O z respectively, prove that sine square alpha plus sine square beta plus sine square gamma is equals to two. If these are the angle made with x, y, and z axis, then L is cos alpha. M is cos beta and M is cos gamma, and we know the property condition that L square plus M square plus N square is equals to one. So cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is one. We know one identity that sine square x plus cos square x is equals to one, or sine square theta plus cos square theta is one. We will use this property here. Value of cos square is one minus sine square. So one minus sine square alpha, one minus sine square beta, one minus sine square gamma. Plus one here it will get cancelled. So one plus one two is equals to sine square alpha plus sine square beta plus sine square gamma. Now third one. Find the direction cosines of vector r vector which is equally inclined with O x, O y, and O z. If r vector modulus is given, find the total number of such vectors. Let L M N be direction cosines of r vector. Equally inclined, it means L is equals to M is equals to N. Angles are equal, and L square plus M square plus N square is one. Alpha is equals to beta is equals to gamma. Angle is equal. 
therefore cos of that is also equal therefore lm and r equal now l square plus m square plus n square is 1 so l square is 1 by 3 or l is plus minus 1 by square root of 3 this is the value of lm and therefore direction cosines of r vector r plus minus 1 by square root of 3 this is the value of l m and n now we want to prove that we want to find the total number of such vectors now r vector is equals to modulus of r vector li plus mj plus nk plus minus 1 by square root of 3 1 by square root of 3 j cap 1 by square root of 3 k cap now we want to find the value of such vectors so r vector is equals to this Here now positive and negative there are two signs positive and negative that can be arranged in 8 ways. Just as we had coin in case mein karte the probability, mein, there are two possible outcomes, head and tail. So, 3 times we have to arrange karna hai, then how many ways we can arrange that in 8 ways. Similarly, there are two signs, plus and minus. Now, we can arrange these signs in 8 ways. Therefore, there are 8 vectors of given magnitude. There are 8 vectors with given magnitude which are equally inclined. Which are equally inclined. Now next one. A vector, R vector is in inclined at equal angles to OX, OY and OZ. If the magnitude of R vector is 6 units, find R. Magnitude of this is 6 units. Same question up to here. Now here the value of magnitude R, we will put the value of magnitude R as 6. 6 into plus minus. 1 by square root of 3 i cap, j cap and k cap. Fourth question mein, three, third question tak up to here we will do the same. And instead of magnitude of r vector put the value that is 6. We can write 6 as 2 into 3. And 3 as square root of 3 into square root of 3. So square root of 3 will get cancelled. 2 times square root of 3 plus minus i cap plus minus j cap and plus minus k cap. Now next one. A vector R vector has length 21 and its direction ratios are proportional to 2 minus 3 6. Find the direction cosines of and components of R vector given that R vector makes an acute angle with x axis. We know that if direction ratios are proportional to A, B and C then direction cosines has value A upon square root of A square plus B square upon C square B upon and c upon square root of a square plus b square plus c square. 
Now these are the direction ratios that is given. So direction cosines are write down direction cosines. First find the value of square root of a square plus b square plus c square. 2 square plus minus 3 square plus c square, 6 square. Square root of 49 that is 7. Therefore direction cosines are. 2 plus minus 2 by 7, minus 3 by 7, 6 by 7. Since our vector makes an acute angle with positive direction of x axis, therefore cos alpha is greater than 0. Therefore direction cosines are 2 by 7, minus 3 by 7 and 6 by 7. Now we want to find the components of R vector. Components of R vector is magnitude of R vector Li plus Mj plus Nk cap. Magnitude of R it is given 21. So R vector is equals to 21. 2 by 7 I cap minus 3 by 7 J cap plus 6 by 7 K cap. And we can solve it. 7 into 3, 21. 3 into 2, 3 into 3, 3 into 6. We can write it as this also. Now next question. Find the angle at which the vector 2i cap minus j cap plus 2k cap is inclined to each of coordinate axis. Let r be any vector and it makes angle alpha beta gamma with OX, OY and OZ respectively then its direction cosines are cos alpha, cos beta, cos gamma. Direction ratios are given from here we can find direction cosines. A is 2, B is minus 1, C is 2. First find square root of A square plus B square plus C square. 2 square minus 1 square 2 square 4 plus 1 plus 4 square root of 9 that is 3 so direction cosines are 2 by 3 minus 1 by 3 and 2 by 3 now we want to find the angles cos alpha is 2 by 3 cos beta is minus 1 by 3 and cos gamma is 2 by 3 therefore alpha is cos inverse 2 by 3, beta is cos inverse minus 1 by 3 and gamma is cos inverse 2 by 3. We can write this as pi minus cos inverse 1 by 3 because 180 minus theta is cos of minus theta, minus cos theta. next one the projection of vector on the coordinate axis are 6 minus 3 2 find its length and direction cosines now we know that if L M N are direction cosines of R vector 
LMNR direction ka signs of vector R, then their projection is equals to Now we know that L square plus M square plus N square is equals to 1. Now it is given that projection of this is equals to 6. M R vector is equals to minus 3. Now squaring and adding all these three equations, but we get L square modulus of R square plus M square modulus of R square, N square modulus of R square, 6 square, 3 square, 2 square. Modulus of R square common. L square plus M square plus N square that is equals to 1. We will use this value. Magnitude of R square is 49. So modulus of R is 7. Modulus of R is 7. Now put this value here. So L is 6 by 7. M is minus 3 by 7. And N is 2 by 7. next one. Find the direction cosines of vector joining the points A, 1, 2, minus 3 and B, minus 1, minus 2 and 1 directed from A to B. Now first we want to find the vector AB vector that is equals to position vector of B minus position vector of A. That is B minus 1 minus 2 1 1 2 minus 3 minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 1 plus 3. We can write it as minus 2i minus 4j plus 4k. So the direction ratios are proportional to minus 2 minus 4 and 4. That is these are values of A, B and C. Now we know that direction cosines are plus minus A upon square root of A square plus B square plus C square plus minus B upon square root of A square plus B square plus C square plus minus C upon this. Now first find the value of square root of A square plus B square plus C square minus 2 square minus 4 square 4 square so direction cosines are minus 2 upon square root of 40 minus 4 upon square root of 40 and 4 upon square root of 40 here we have 16 16 so that is 32 plus 4, 36, that is 6, minus 2 by 6, minus 4 by 6, 4 by 6, minus 1 by 3, minus 2 by 3 and 2 by 3. Note it down. 